Peter Alexander. Peter, good morning to you. Hey, Savannah, good morning to you and welcome to Las Vegas. She is already in a league of her own, the former First Lady, former Secretary of State, and tonight the only Democrat on stage who's ever been in a presidential debate before. She is a diligent preparer who's been on debate stages since high school, and analysts say a strong showing tonight could either solidify her performance or if she does poorly, it'll just give more ammunition to those enemies and opponents who say the campaign wheels are coming off the bus. Hey. Tonight, she'll debate her fellow Democrats, but on the ground in Las Vegas, Hillary Clinton immediately took aim at the Republican frontrunner, Donald Trump, showing up unannounced at a union protest outside a Trump-owned hotel. Some people think Mr. Trump is entertaining, entertaining when somebody insults immigrants, insults women. At center stage tonight, Clinton's main priority, avoid mistakes that could dominate the headlines. Clinton took part in more than 20 debates during the 2008 contest. Tonight, aides hope that practice will help her deliver a strong performance. Then there's the ongoing email controversy. While partisan sniping has undercut the House Benghazi committee, Clinton will try to argue the scandal is fueled by Republican attacks, with the last round of her personal emails being released just three days before the Iowa caucuses. And Clinton will try to deliver a message to Joe Biden, still toying with a run of his own, that despite the controversy, she's still a safe bet. Finally, can Clinton connect with voters? Former Obama advisor David Axelrod says Clinton's task is to be real. With Clinton facing criticism as a Washington insider, she'll argue that as a woman, she's the true outsider candidate. And lately, she's deployed self-deprecation to soften her image, even mocking her robotic demeanor. I was constructed in a garage in Palo Alto this a very long garage. time ago. Bottom line, Clinton advisors have repeatedly insisted that there's a much bigger difference between the Democrats and Republicans than among the Democrats themselves. Over the course of six months of campaigning, Hillary Clinton has only even mentioned her biggest rival, Bernie Sanders' name, at most a handful of times. Matt and Savannah. Let's see. She sticks with that strategy tonight. Peter Alexander, thank you. Let's mention.